Hi again, kindergarten mathematicians. Today, we're gonna to be using critical inquiry when we stop and think about our thinking to help us solve more math story problems. Okay, are you guys ready? Let's Just go. like yesterday, we always start with our learning target. And our learning target is the same thing as yesterday. I can use strategies to help solve word problems. So remember, our strategies are the tools that we're gonna use to help us solve or figure out our word problems, our math stories. Let's start by reading our math story problem. Remember, these are words that you can read, so I want you to try too. Are you ready to help me? There is, ooh, I see a number, 12 bugs. Bugs. There is 12 bugs. A frog got five bugs. How many bugs are left? So I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna use my critical inquiry to think about my story. I'm gonna make the picture or the movie in my head. I see 12 little bugs flying around and a frog comes and eats five of them. Oh, if he eats five of them, that kind of makes me think that they're gonna go away. They're gonna be taken away. My critical inquiry tells me if the frog eats the bugs and takes them away, that we are solving a subtraction problem, a takeaway problem. So now that I've thought about my story and I've decided it's gonna be a subtraction problem, I gotta go back and I gotta find my numbers. So I have my orange marker and I kinda saw the numbers when we were reading. There is 12 bugs. I see the number 12 right here. So I'm gonna put a circle around that number to help me remember that number when it comes time to solve again. And I'm gonna keep looking, a frog. Oh, there's another number, number five. Now I'm gonna keep looking. Okay, no more numbers. I see my two numbers are 12 and five. Now, it's time for me to draw my picture. So I'm gonna go back and remind myself, how many am I starting with? There is 12 bugs. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw 12 bugs. I'm gonna get my black and I'm gonna draw 12 flies because I know frogs like to eat flies, right? So I have my 12 flies, and then what happened? Hmm, let's go back to the text and let's read. After we had 12 bugs, a frog got five bugs. A frog got five bugs. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw that too. I'm gonna get my green, and I'm gonna draw my frog here. Now I gotta show that he got five bugs. How would I show five bugs got taken away? Have we done that before? Oh my goodness, great thinking. Maybe I can put an X on my five bugs that got eaten by the frog. So I'm gonna grab my, oh, let's try a different color. Let's try purple. I'm gonna grab my purple and I'm gonna put X's on five of those bugs. Ready? He ate that one, he ate that one, he ate that one, he ate that one. Oop, let me stop and check because I don't want to cross out too many. One, two, three, four. That's four. He ate five. Five bugs got X'd out. So now I can count these to help me answer the question, how many bugs are left? But before I do that, I want to show it on my tin frame. So again, friends, how many bugs did we have in the beginning? 12. So I know to make 12 on my 10 frame because we learn how to do this with teen numbers. We know 12 is 10 and some left over. So I'm gonna fill in my 10 and then I'm gonna count on. There's 10, 11, 12. 12 bugs to start out with. How many did the frog eat? Oh, he ate five of them. And remember how we showed they got taken away. We put an X on them. That's very important to show our thinking. So I'm gonna go back over to my 10 frame and I'm gonna put X's on them. 
And I'm actually gonna start right here and I'm gonna work my way backwards so that it's easier for me to count when I go to count how many are in my tin frame. So there's one, two, three, four, five. I took away five of those bugs. So now looking at my tin frame and my picture, it's really easy for me to figure out how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven left. I see five, six, seven. Seven left. I drew my pictures to help me solve my problem and now the only thing I have to do is write my equation, my number sentence. So again, I'm gonna look back at my story problem. How many bugs did we start with first? Yeah, 12 bugs. So I'm gonna write the number 12 here. Now, did we add more bugs in or did we take some of the bugs away? Yeah, we took some of the bugs away. So I know, hmm, if I'm trying to show that we're taking away, do I put a plus sign? No, I put a minus sign. Remember, our minus sign is just a line and it tells me to take away. How many bugs did we take away? Yeah, we took away five bugs. And after we took away those five bugs, how many bugs did we have left? We had seven bugs left. So reading my number sentence, 12 minus five equals seven, right? We used our pictures and our number sentence to help us figure out that story problem. Are you ready to hear your story problem? All right, let's see. Now remember, your story problem has sight words that you can read and words that you can tap out. So try to read it all by yourself first. Let's read it together. There is, oh, a number, nine-ish in a lake. There is nine fish in a lake. A cat got three fish. How many fish are left? Hmm. Use your critical inquiry to think about the story. What is happening in the story? Draw your picture and finally draw your equation to match.